Welcome to Driving Outside. Today I will be taking you on another small mountain drive near Boulder, Colorado. This one is called Lee Hill Drive and actually links up with some of the other neat back roads scattered further out in the Rocky Mountains. Starting on North Broadway in Boulder, Colorado, this road travels west into the mountains past Four Mile Creek Trailhead. This trail actually is a number of trails that are semi-connected to each other. To the north is the Hogback Ridge Loop, and to the south are the Old Kiln and Wonderland Hill Trails. I put the link in the description of the official City of Boulder's website that gives more detailed information on the trails, including what to expect in terms of potential trail closures and which trails are busier. These photos I took here where there is a small pull-off. There were lots of cacti and other flowers blooming in the ditch, so be careful where you step. During the drive up, there was a very large male buck sitting in the grass on one of the sharp turns. Also, on this sharp turn, there's a great opportunity to stop as there is a pull-off, and you can look at the fantastic rock formations at this point in the road. People drive very fast on this road, so make sure if you have to stop to take a photo, you do so in a safe pull-off area like the one seen in the video near where the buck was. As with other mountain roads, most of the road doesn't have a whole lot of shoulder space for those wishing to bike, so just make sure to be extra careful as it could get quite steep in some areas and has some very sharp turns. Earlier this year, in May 2020, a professional cyclist actually went up and down part of Lee Hill Road and Deer Trail Road a total of 15 times in a row. This road has an average of 8% on its grade and goes up 1,900 feet in elevation change. At this point, the scenery widens into some beautiful meadows on both sides of the road, so I stopped where the shoulder is bigger and walked a bit back and forth on both sides.
there's quite a large amount of houses in this area, though it may not look like it at first glance. Many of the homes listed in this area range from half a million dollars upwards to seven and a half million dollars. With the breathtaking view and windy roads, it isn't hard to imagine the price for some of these properties that are high up in the mountains. I would for sure advise watching the return trip as you can see all of the mountain views that were not seen at all on the way up. If you have a comment or suggestion on the content, or you have a drive you would like to see done, I would welcome those comments below. Stay tuned for more of my mountain adventures. Thanks and stay safe.